Hi, Drew from Mission RV Services here with today's quick tip. So this is really going to be a quick one. So how do you put a 250 pound RV tech into that little hole? But really that's not what the video is about. Today we're replacing a uh, BCM one touch controller that controls the slide outs and things for this camper. what we're going to do because we are in such a tight spot i'm going to take you in here is we are using painters tape to separate some of these wires so let me show you so what we're doing is as each one of these goes up here what we're doing is we're to keep using the painters tape as each one of these come out to keep these into a sequence so when we go to put this back together because it is such a tight spot it's going to make it a little bit easier from the pictures we also have a count of where we're starting so these are things that will just make your life easier if you're changing one of these units out and as you can see there's not a lot of room in here and you can't really go from the other side because that's uh, where our water heater is but as you can see we already started so see the one two three four that's where our first four spots were then the next, then we have a gap. The other good thing about this, this is a Keystone product. So every one of their wires are labeled in their schematic by color. And it says exactly what each one works on. So that's another good benefit as a backup. Also make sure you're removing all your 120 volt and 12 volt power before you do one of these changeovers. And then uh, Jensen slash ASR has a uh, connectivity procedure that you'll have to refer to them for each individual coach. But other than that, we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're moving right along here and we got the old BCM out. We have the new one in. So we're gonna go back in the hole here and uh, we will kind of show you our progress, but show you how taping those wires in sequence helps and then referring to those pictures so you know right where to put each thing helps out so here we go so as you see so that tape and we've gone down and we have at this point we've labeled everything out everything is in sequence and while we had the old board out we actually removed the screws on the kind of the tougher side to get to from the hole and now we can go ahead and we can start laying these out. And since we taped them, we have their proper gap and we have our pictures that we took before we even started the project to refer to. So projects moving right along. We're going to keep continuing and uh, we'll keep you updated here until we get finished. Well, we just have a couple little things to button up. We have to put the uh, cover back on, on the in-command center. And, but uh, we'll take you back in the hole one more time. And so now we've got everything in, all our relays. Uh, we did have a couple relay issues from the old board that we had to swap out. And we went in and we have now tested all of the functions. This in-command system controls a lot of things like lights and jacks and uh, so it's definitely very important if you're stuck and you want to move um, but i'm going to show you something in here too so right up here on the top you'll see there's three switches and each switch is corresponds to a function so if you are stuck somewhere and your in command panel isn't responding you come to this you turn it to either however many slides you have, one, two, or three. And this lets you manually operate those slide outs, jacks, or your awning so you can get on the road again and uh, you know open or close a slide out, whatever you need to do in an emergency. So that is a nice thing on the in-command system. Sorry about the shaky video, holding my hand up in here. Um, but we have all our wires tightened down and connected now. Uh, all our functions are operating as they should. So, uh, so yeah, so now that we have everything done in there, I want to show you one more thing 
bring you over to the truck here. So this is something nice about uh, the in-command system. And like I said, Keystone is very good about um, all of their wire diagrams and how all their wires are color coded. That is a, well, Keystone is one of the only ones I know that really do that. So kind of hard to see on here, but you know, each one has for a light group and it's giving you of color indicators on these wires or number indicators, however they identified it. So when you get a in-command BCM, this is part of your uh, schematic for getting this installed. So if something happened where, say you're a tech and you go out and a customer just pulled this all apart, this gives you a good starting point to go back in. Down here, you have all your indicators on all your relays. So say your slide out two is going out but not in well you know which relay to change out to get it to go out or in so just something nice that uh you know they give you and it's uh definitely just a way to better enhance the change out of this panel again if you're not comfortable with something like this we totally recommend getting a qualified rv technician to do this for you uh, but if you're an experienced diyer you're comfortable with this sort of thing this is definitely something you could do yourself. But that's all for today. We're going to wrap this job up and uh, give our customer back a happy camper. So until next time, this is Drew from Mission RV Services. Bye, everybody.